Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be doing another Q&A video where I take your questions from Twitter and I answer them all in this video. Now, as always, if you want to get involved in the next Q&A video that I do, all you have to do is go down in the description, follow me on Twitter. I announce there about once a week when I do these Q&A videos and I always try to select the best and most interesting questions to be featured in the video. Now, before we get started, this video is sponsored by GameState, which is a collaboration between ex-Blizzard developers and Lenovo Gaming to create the ultimate tower defense game and now it's time for mission three live or die now your challenge in all of this is to get your own weapon design featured in the game it's really cool after you've uploaded your weapon artwork you can earn your mission three badge by clicking on the share button to spread the word about game state and the top 10 submissions with the most upvotes are going to be evaluated by dark rift and once mission three is complete they'll announce the winner's name that will ultimately get their weapon in the game now if you're not a Photoshop whiz like me, don't sweat it. You have your own way of taking on Mission 3. Lenovo's created the Live or Die Weapon Generator, and you can try your hands at some of the designs and figure out which weapon combination ultimately speaks to you. Now to get started, head over to LenovoGameState.com, click on the Mission 3 tile, and from there, that's where you're actually going to upload your artwork. And once it's uploaded, be sure to get everyone you know to upvote your work. Click share on Facebook and Twitter to spread the word using GameState, and also check out some of the awesome gear they're going to be giving away like a Lenovo game surround sound headset and microphone it's pretty awesome so this week I got a lot of great questions involving the future of Grand Theft Auto Online you know expansions 2016 DLCs but before we get into any of that I got a lot of questions about something really special that happened uh, so I'm just going to be featuring this one question from CM Clunk he said hashtag ask boss do you plan on doing any special video for hitting 1 million subs if so what would that video be be. So I kind of want to take this opportunity to just say thank you to everyone. Uh, I tried to do that as best as I could on Twitter. But yeah, if you didn't notice, I hit a million subscribers, which is absolutely insane. Uh, I can't even begin to tell you guys how thankful I am for uh, the opportunity to make YouTube videos and to have such an awesome fan base and audience like you guys watching the video right now. So it truly is humbling to see all the support uh, and it's absolutely incredible. But getting back to the point, am I doing any special video? I didn't really plan on it. One, because it really snuck up on me really quick. And two, you know, that's just not who I am. I, I figured for doing a million subscribers, I might as well give you guys the same content that I typically do, which is, you know, two to three really nice videos a day where you can maybe learn something or be entertained in some way. And that's really what I wanted to do. Now, when I eventually get the gold play button, which I still don't even know how to get, I have like no contact or anything on how to get that gold play button, I will be unboxing it and showing it off for you guys because I feel like that memento and that item is just as much yours as it is mine. So I really do want to share that moment with you guys. So I'll keep you up to date on Twitter and everything like that. But for now, my play button is MIA. I don't know how to go about getting it. Uh, so again, I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter and whatnot. But check out that soon. All right, our next question comes from Forat. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly, buddy. Um, he says, hashtag ask boss. Do you think that if a Liberty City slash single player expansion will come Will it be available for last generation? Now, this is really interesting because obviously, if you know for the past few months now, ever since the free mode events update, Grand Theft Auto Online on the last generation has not been getting any new updates. Rockstar stated that they can't, simply can't risk the integrity and structure of the game by adding anything new or new content into online on the 360 and the PS3. However, they never said anything about single player. So I'm really not too sure what to think here because obviously we have no information on a single player expansion, a Liberty City expansion, whatever the case might be. But it is kind of interesting. Will the last generation get a single player expansion if it does indeed come to Grand Theft Auto 5, we've seen uh, games even outside of Grand Theft Auto doing this with kind of their campaigns. I even think Call of Duty Black Ops 3 the campaign is like only available on the next generation. Uh, so uh, that would be Xbox One and PS4. So again, I'm really not too sure what the situation might be here regarding a single player expansion, Liberty City, whatever the case might be on last generation. I would certainly hope that last generation PS3 and Xbox 360 is not left out uh, on any single player update 
because they've been there from the beginning and it just wouldn't seem fair for them to be left out on a story mode expansion. But it is ultimately going to be up to Rockstar. And if they feel those older systems can handle the capacity of what looks to be some sort of large single player update, I guess we're really just going to wait and find out. Our next question comes from Abdullah and they say, hashtag ask boss, do you think there will be a similar DLC as the ill-gotten gains anytime soon? You know what? I'm really not too sure. Uh, I want to say I doubt it really because there were two versions of ill-gotten gains and they were like back to back and they just happened about five or six months ago. Uh, but ignoring the word ill-gotten gains, the whole theme of that DLC was kind of like high luxury, high roller, a little bit of criminal activity. So again, I'm really not too sure because in my opinion, the Executives and Other Criminals DLC was really similar to Ill-Gotten Gains also. You know, you had similar style clothing, you had the expensive yachts and the apartments and the expensive cars. There obviously wasn't a supercar, uh, but they still had a pretty similar theme. So I'm going to say a conservative no, that the next couple DLCs are not going to be anything like Ill-Gotten Gains, which is fine with me because I think GTA Online needs some variety in that category as well. Uh, and I also think they need to take a break from that kind of luxury style theme. But everyone seems to like that. So who knows? Maybe Rockstar might dip their hand back into the pot and try something similar to Ill-Gotten Gains and executives and other criminals sooner than we all think. Our next question comes from Corey and he says, hashtag ask boss. There is heist part two. What heist would you like to see added? Now that, of course, would pend any potential heist DLC. Of course, we know Rockstar stated that they were a huge undertaking and that they, we won't probably be seeing any more heists. But if we were to get another heist update, I've got a few pretty good locations. Uh, one of them I would obviously like to see is the casino. I think that would be a really nice location for a heist. I think the FBI building and the FIB building would be another nice location. You could obviously have Los Santos International National Airport, some sort of heist that involves an airplane or something like that. And the potential characters could be like Devin Weston. I think he would be fit, a perfect fit for an online heist character to kind of like go in and say, hey, make some money for me while doing this heist. So again, I have some really cool ideas. I'm sure Rockstar does as well, but I'm also probably aware that they have a ton of other things on their plate that they want to try and get done. So I totally understand if a heist part two is not going to be coming, but if they do, I'd love to see some of the things that I mentioned in this video. Our next question comes from Lyro Daniel. He says, if Michael Hollick Nico is not voicing for Nico in a story mode DLC, will Rockstar ever plan to find a new actor for Nico or no? Hashtag ask boss. Now Lyro, that would all depend on if Rockstar has plans on Nico returning in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, Nico Bellic is mentioned a bunch in the GTA 5 story mode in terms of Easter eggs and through like posters that you might see on the ground. However, there is no voice of him in the game. And to give you guys a little bit of the backstory, the voice actor and likeness of Nico, Michael Hollick, kind of had a falling out with Rockstar regarding pay and how much work he did. Let's just say they're not on the best terms. So would it be impossible for someone else to come in and replicate the voice of Nico? No, not at all. Uh, it's His voice is obviously unique, but it's certainly not impossible to replicate. So I'm sure with the talent level that Rockstar has, they could find another voice actor for Nico. But again, that would all depend on if he is coming into the game, which of course we have absolutely no information on. We don't really have any clue if he has plans to return. But he is from the HD universe, which does check off that box that makes him eligible to return. And I know he is a fan favorite of not only myself, but so many in the GTA community. So what I love to see, Nico, yes, is the voice actor thing an issue? Maybe. But I think Rockstar is a big enough company where they can get around that and still, you know, implement Nico into the game where he's done very nicely. Brandon says, hashtag ask boss, do you think the phone number for black cell phones will be associated with a single player DLC? If you guys don't know what Brandon's talking about, he's talking about that like secret cell phone number that we've been seeing the past few days that turns your cell phone black. The explosion goes off over your head. And Brandon, I'm honestly not too sure. Uh, it's a mystery to me. I don't know why that black cell phone is in the game. Your guess is just as good as mine. I originally think it was just supposed to be like a black cell phone mode where you could take the color away, but there's just so many weird things like the fact that it was hidden from us and also the fact the explosion takes place over our head. I mean, why does that have to happen? So it might be associated with a single player DLC in some way. It might not. 
It also might be associated with some content that was cut from the game, and this was just left over. We're really not going to know unless Rockstar eventually one day down to, down the line it, uh, gets to explain it to us. And our last question comes from Mofo Blitz. He says, what accessories would you like to see added for GTA Online characters? For example, backpacks, rings, and more. Hashtag ask boss. Yes, Mofo Blitz, this is something that I and many people have wanted for a while now because honestly, there's not a lot of ways for us to differentiate our characters in online. Now, sure, we can wear different clothing. We can have different tattoos and there are some good accessories like scarves and earrings and even uh, like necklaces but there are a bunch of other things that I'd like to see like you mentioned whether it be uh, backpacks or certain types of headphones or just accessories that we can have on like our shoes or our clothing or just something along the lines like a laptop we could have in our, our backpack or knapsack or whatever the case might be just to give our characters a little bit of differentiation. Now, I know Grand Theft Auto Online is not The Sims, it's not like a role-playing game where you really get to uh, design your character and make them unique, but having some uh, accessories and features like backpacks, which was something that was worn by like some of the characters in single player, like why can't that be implemented into online? I guess we'll just never know unless Rockstar decides to do some update like that in game. But anyways, that's all the questions that I'm going to be answering in today's Q&A video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Once again, if you want to get involved in the next one, just go down in the description, follow me on Twitter, and I always ask when I do these Q&A videos. So just stay tuned down there. If you did go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would of course be awesome and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new or you like daily grand theft auto 5 videos like this with all the way guys like i said thanks for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video